So I have so much on my heart that I want to say about this. Nobody that is doing this today wants any recognition. This is all from the heart. And I say that with my sincere appreciation to the music ministry for all that they've done. When I asked them to do this, it was a no-brainer. They were all in. And so I know that there's this deep desire in all of the, the human heart. God made us. So therefore, we want to do this. We want to serve. We want to love. And what I think Deacon Lou has done is he's kind of created the gap. He, he's bridged the gap. Um, he's bridged the divide between uh, where we are and where the people are that have absolutely nothing. And I feel like we we don't know how to get there or we don't know how we can help, but we want to. It's in us, right? So Deacon Lou and he created this invisible bridge. That's the way I see it, where may, maybe we're afraid to go down there. We're afraid, uh, fearful of our lives, right? It's real, but so are they. Those people are living there probably fearful of their lives, but also fearful of where am I going to get the next meal? How am I going to clothe my child? Um, it's, it's very real. And so I just appreciate Deacon Lou so much for creating that um, access to give of our hearts that we sometimes just yearn for. And he's made it easy. So I just want to grow up and I want to be Deacon Lou. <laughs> and I also asked Deacon Lou one time, I said, and when do you rest? And he said, I will rest. No, <laughs> I will never rest. I will rest when I am dead is what he said. So I just appreciate Deacon Lou. I appreciate Sharon. I appreciate Don. I appreciate Montero. I appreciate everyone, Alicia, that's making this possible and giving of your time. And um, that's all I want to say. I'm just so grateful that we had the opportunity, but it's so much more than that. So thank you.